so we're now on P part 46. And this is going to be called Line 1 of the Alien UFO Wow. Dr. Jerry R. Iman, EM Drive, Atomic Energy Spacecraft Propulsion. Basically what I do is I'm going to do each line for the wow thing and then I'm going to give you some key note words that come up from my calculations. Okay? So line well, one of the well theory is two, one, 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 one. Okay? And that's the number right there. Sorry. Okay, so we got two, one, 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 right? So, let's go. My thoughts. A study of numbers from a signal received from outer space to study. They have not figured out what the signal can mean as of yet. I will attempt to see if there's any numerical message in this re reception and decode it. I started doing this part here December 29th, 8.47 p.m. I actually started the project on December 28th, basically um, the night before I started working on it. What I did was kind of went in and started doing stuff, writing the numbers down and calculating them, and then I started making notes about what I found. Okay. So this is the math equation, 2 divided by 21, which will equal 0 0.09523809.52, okay? And so we take the 0.95238.0952, and I put the word outer space beside it and do a Google search to see what I come up with, okay? So I have atomic data and nuclear data tables. That comes up in the first search, and it's symmetry to improve the description of the outermost orbitals and to add numbers, numbers, space of the exponents at which was done, energy in the space of the exponents which offers essentially. What I'm going to be doing is I'll be blogging this stuff on the. Uh, I'm making the videos, and then I'm putting them up over here on Victoria Stafford. A Psychic Investigation, that's my uh, psychic blog, but I also have changed it to Paranormal UFO Ghost Stories and Dreams. Okay, so that's all going on here. What I'm doing is I'm putting the title of the video, adding a few extra keywords to it, putting some tags. There's the videos. This one's called Contact While Signal Study. Okay, um, and then the notes from the YouTube video, basically my thoughts for that topic and then a little bit more about what came up for the videos and then the pictures and the diagrams that I find. Okay, so you can refer to the video from here. I won't have the link on the actual YouTube video, but if you go to the Victoria Stafford Second Investigation site, look at the date that the video was posted. I, I upload the video and then I put it over here on the same date so that you can cross-reference it, okay? And remember I said I was going to start posting my notes. I started on number 36. i got to go back over the other notes and see if there's anything I can add to the other videos. So anyways, to go back to this, we got Ruth Han, Hartree, Falk, F-O-C-K, Atomic Wave Functions, later basis set that came up. It says in a few cases, energy minimization optimizes an outer shell basis into Fine, because of multiple energy minima in the space of the exponents. Okay, and then we got the Rutherham Hartree Fock atomic wave functions Slater base set expansions for z equals 55 to 92. It's an IBM Research Laboratory uh, PDF file that you can buy. Um, I just looked at. I'm just looking at what comes up on Google, right? I can't go through all this stuff. This is something that you guys can go through if you want to, if it, it means anything to you. Since the basis set expansions of approximate hartree fock orbitals are given for atoms and ions for that number there. And then expansions and Slater type functions of z double zeta and triple zeta balance dimensions are computed from the formalism of Ruth and Vegas. It says radial expectation values for each orbital are given. Comparisons of expansion wave functions with numerical and blah 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 for mercury results from mercury are present presented so I think that's planet mercury and then we have a theory of microwave propulsion for spacecraft Roger Sawyer and then www.emdrive.com now this is cool because remember my original 
question to the aliens on in December was I was asking is it possible to have a faster engine for us to travel so when this came up of course I'm just hopping off my seat and I'm all excited because like oh cool this is an EM drive that they actually did as a theory it's a theory they haven't actually made it work so isn't that cool this is what it looks like it's called the M drive a new concept in spacecraft propulsion satellite propulsion research LTD SBR LTD a small UK based company has demonstrated a remarkable new space propulsion technology the company has successfully tested both an experimental thruster and a demonstrator engine. So they have, they have successfully tested it, it just hasn't been built yet. Which used patented and microwave technology to convert electrical energy directly into the thrust. No propellant is used in the conversion process. Thrust is produced by the amplification of the radiation pressure of an electromagnetic wave propagated through a resonant waveguide assembly. Contact SPR ltd at emdrive.com for details or just go to the website and look them up okay so if this means something to you guys go for it so that's what that one's line one that's what came up from this little equation that i did isn't that funny okay so let's go on to line two